Do your edges still look like this or this or this or this? Then you need to watch this video. Hey loves, it's Angelica aka Angie B and welcome back to my channel. If you are not new, my name is Angelica and I post hair videos every single week. Please consider hitting the subscribe button, it is linked right down there, as well as the bell icon which just makes sure you get notifications every single time I post. So without further ado, let's get into this video. In this video, I am going to be telling you guys six ways that you guys can grow your edges back fast. Six more ways so if you came from my other video then you know this is not the same video if you haven't seen the original six ways to grow your edges back fast i will link it at the end of this video and also in the description box so you can go and check that out for six more tips at the end of this video but let's get straight into it the first way to grow your edges back fast is to deep condition your hair every single week once a week you don't want to go over that unless you know your hair for sure and you really need to deep condition it like twice a week which is the maximum but i would recommend deep conditioning your hair once a week now this includes all the rest of your hair because you don't want to start growing your edges and then the rest of your hair is damaged because then you're going to be coming back here to find out how to fix your breakage okay so you want to treat all your hair at the same time but deep conditioning Deep condition with your favorite deep conditioner. Everyone has their own favorite and what works well on their hair. So that's why I'm not telling you exactly what, but I will tell you what I use. I use the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Deep Conditioner. I'll put a picture of it up here so you guys can see what it looks like. That's the deep conditioner I use every single time I deep condition my hair. I'll also link everything I'm mentioning in the description box below. They're all linked from Amazon because that's where I buy most of my stuff. Some of them are affiliate links, but of course there's no additional cost to you and this is not a sponsored video. After you put it all over your hair, I recommend that you get like, you know when you're putting a relaxer on the edges of your hair or if you've never had a relaxer, I'm sure you've seen someone else get a relaxer. That's how I recommend that you put the deep conditioner on your edges because your edges are very delicate. It's very good to just, you know, completely douse them and it's very thin and very little. So it's not like you're wasting a lot of product. You just get a bit and put it all around your entire hairline actually. And that will help your edges grow back much faster. The second way you can help grow your edges back fast is to be very gentle with your hair. Now, I am talking specifically about when you're washing your hair because sometimes we think of being gentle during detangling and combing, but you don't think about it when you're washing your hair and they've got, you've got shampoo in your hair and you're lathering your edges. Some people are extremely rough and because you're underwater, you can't even tell that the tiny little hairs are being shed and stuff. So you have to be very gentle on your edges. Like literally, you massage in circular motions like that not rubbing motions because imagine how strong the hair on the rest of your head is it can shed because of doing that so there's like two or three times more shedding you'd be getting if you're so rough on your edges either when you're putting shampoo when you're doing conditioner because also you look you do want to massage conditioner into your scalp sometimes if you are very aggressive you're going to be ripping out your edges so just make sure you're very wary of that while you're washing your hair the third thing you can do to grow your edges back fast is to be very mindful when you are washing your face. Now, lots of times we don't really think about this, but the edges are also usually the cleanest part of our hair because whenever you're washing your face, taking off your makeup, you might be using a toner that's an astringent like witch hazel or just any other toner that, that's very... That's an astringent, basically. Products that are like AHAs and BHAs, you know, like glycolic acid, lactic acid, and all that kind of stuff, PHAs. If you're using that kind of stuff and you're taking it all the way, which, I mean, you don't want to take it as high as possible, but if you're taking it into your hairline, there's a possibility that your hair, that your face products are drying out your edges and causing more breakage especially because you probably rinse them a little bit also while you're washing your face and just brush your edges back with a very soft brush or your hands just to make sure that your edges are away from the water while you're doing your skincare routine the fourth thing you can do to grow your edges back fast is to master your own 
protein moisture balance now if you guys would like a separate video about protein and moisture balance in your hair please let me know and i'll make a different video about that just leave a comment in the comment section below basically you don't want to have too much protein in your hair because it's going to make your hair brittle and it can break and snap and if you have too much moisture in your hair it can make your hair extremely soft and it would just easily snap so you want a perfect balance where your hair is just in a good state good elasticity but not breaking or snapping so the best way to do this is just to alternate between your protein treatments or to use a deep conditioner that has both moisture and protein but at the end of the day you know your own hair best and if your hair is chemically treated or relaxed and depending on the thickness and your actual hair type whether you're a 3b 3c whatever you know your own hair and at a certain point you get to know whether you like whether your hair likes a little bit more protein a little bit more moisture or just like an even amount you get to know it so as soon as your hair starts feeling extremely hard or extremely mushy you know okay i need a little more protein i little i need a little more moisture and like i said your edges are extremely delicate so whatever you do to the rest of your hair don't neglect your edges and you always want to put a little bit more product there just because like i said when you wash your face some of that product might be coming out the fifth thing you can do to grow your edges back fast is to not shampoo your hair every single week now i'm not saying don't wash your hair every week i'm just saying skip shampoo i would suggest once a month if you want you can even just skip your edges although even though it's hard to like not get shampoo there if you're putting it on the rest of your hair but i would suggest at least twice a month so which means every two weeks you use shampoo and then every other time you wash your hair you just use a cleansing conditioner or a regular conditioner so basically just co-wash your hair if you can't co-wash all your hair and your hair has like lots of product build up and all that kind of stuff just try and do it with your edges because believe me any product is easy to come off your edges because your edges are always a slightly different texture than the rest of your hair they are finer and it's very little hair so if you just co-wash your edges and use shampoo on the rest of your hair if you have to then you can go ahead and do that but just try and stay away from that because like i said your edges are usually pretty clean you don't have to clarify them and do all that so much the sixth thing you can do to grow your edges back fast is to not use hair ties that snag on your edges and the reason i know i said something similar in my other video but this is actually different i mean you know the hair bands you use to do like a high puff where you just maybe it's like a piece of wool or like a thread that's made out of like cotton or something you know you just do that little puff where you just put it here and you just push your hair up those really snag at your edges because it's like your your hair sort of rolls in it and then when you take it off i'm sure you can even feel like little hair is snapping and also if it's made out of cotton or any other fabric that absorbs moisture it's also making just that particular area extremely dry so if you're going to do one of those hairstyles where you just push up your hair just by your edges for example if i did the same head wrap i'm doing right now and it's extremely tight here right on the edges of my edges it would cause breakage and it would suck out the moisture so let me show you a tip that i always do i hope i can get it out from here but every time I put my hair in a head wrap I do have a satin bonnet on the inside I think you guys can see that so all the rest of my hair is protected and when I haven't laid my edges like this then you know the bonnet is further down and my head wrap is closer to to my forehead and as you can see it's not tight so like I can fit my finger inside like very easily there's like an inch of stretch or half an inch so this is what I mean when you're putting that little band there just make sure it's a good fabric if you can find like a silk or satin one or just don't do that hairstyle while your edges are damaged then it will greatly greatly help you now on to the bonus because you guys know I always have a bonus and the bonus is shave your edges off like bald I'm just kidding obviously obviously I'm just kidding have you guys seen that video of that girl who shaved like she's trying to grow her edges back I haven't been back lately maybe I should I don't know if her edges have grown back now but she literally got a shaver and shaved all her edges off like bald now if you want to be that bold and do that and see what happens you can go ahead and do that I think that is absolutely unnecessary but it's related to my tip my tip is when you're trimming all the rest of your hair trim your edges as well now i don't mean trim like the way you trim your natural hair because 
the way you trim the rest of your hair just like probably the tiny little like end piece like this little curl here is what you'd cut off but I'm not saying cut it off if there's no split ends if you don't have split ends there's nothing to cut off you can do like a search and destroy kind of method and see if there's like any split ends or like crinkly damaged ends those are the pieces you're going to cut off and it will help your hair stop breaking because maybe your edges could be growing but then after they grow the ends continue to break off and snap off because your ends are so unhealthy so just make sure to take a look at that most people actually don't have that many split ends on their edges but if you are experiencing extreme damage to your edges that is something you might want to check out and also if you want to see how i laid my edges for this video i did make a separate video about that it'll be linked on the screen in the eye also in the description box below so make sure you check that out so if you didn't hit the subscribe button in the beginning you can just click my face right there that will let you subscribe to this channel also remember to hit the bell so you get notifications every single time i post also watch the two videos on the side of the screen here because if you like this video you might be interested in those videos as well thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in my next video